गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मोहम्मद जुनेद सिद्दीकी वेलकम इन द ब्रिज डिजाइन एंड इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट इन दिस लेक्चर वी लर्न हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द लाइव लोड बेंडिंग मोमेंट फॉर टू वे स्लैब ड्यू टू आई आर सी क्लास ए लोडिंग दिस इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ ब्रिज द डेक्स स्लैब इज रेस्टिंग ओवर द लॉन्जिट्यूडनल एंड क्रॉस गर्डर्स इन द टॉप व्यू we can see the cross girders are spaced at a distance of 5 meter and the longitudinal girders are spaced at a distance of 2.5 meter the critical panel is an interior slab panel in this case the live load is of irc class a loading so irc class a is a train of vehicles in that the greatest or highest load is of 114 kN so there are two axle of 114 kN aparting 1.2 meter this is an interior slab panel we have to place the load in such a way that the maximum bending moment should produce in previous lecture the irc class aa tracked vehicle loading were used in that one track was placed exactly at the center of the slab panel but here in irc class a loading there are axle loads so here the loading will be unsymmetrical and to produce the maximum bending moment we are referring the pigard's theory as per pigard's theory the load should be exactly symmetrical and it should be concentrated load so w1 will place exactly at the center of the slab panel and the consecutive load w2 is aparting 1.2 meter so as per irc 6 the contact width of the load 114 is 500 mm and the contact length is 250 mm so u is equal to 500 mm 0.5 plus twice the thickness of the wearing coat is 0.66 meter and v is equal to 0.25 contact length plus twice of thickness of the wearing coat 0.41 meter so 1.2 minus 0.41 by 2 is 0.995 meter so here we'll get the bending moment due to w1 only so w1 is 114 by 2 57 kN aspect ratio k is b by l 2.5 by 5 is 0.5 already we obtained the value of u and v so v by l is 0.41 by 5 0.082 0 and u by b is 0.66 by 2.5 0.264 so referring to pigard's curve so v by l is 0.082 u by b is 0.264 aspect ratio is 0.5 so here moment coefficients m1 and m2 for k is equal to 0.5 so v by l 0.082 and u by b 0.264 so first we'll obtain the m1 so here the m1 into 100 is 19 so m1 is 0.19 and here in the right hand side graph the m2 into 100 is 14 so m2 is 0.14 so bending moment due to w1 so from the pigard's curve we obtained the value of m1 and m2 so shorter span moment due to w1 load is w into m1 plus mu m2 so W is fifty-seven into point one nine plus point one five is the Poisson's ratio into point one four. So we'll get it twelve point zero three kilonewton meter. In the longer span moment due to W one load is fifty-seven into point one four plus point one five into point one nine. We'll get it nine point six kilonewton meter. So moment due to W two. So we'll place first the W two 
at a distance of 1.2 meter from the center but this load is unsymmetrical so here we'll place the imaginary load exactly symmetrical to this W2 but there is a gap between this load so we'll fill that gap also and we'll consider this complete load is nothing but a W2 dash. So aspect ratio remains same and U is also remain same 0.66 meter but here V is twice of 1.2 plus 0.41 by 2 which is 2.81 meter. Previously W1 was 57 kilonewton concentrated load that was resting over the area of 0.66 by 0.41. So here we need to determine W2 dash. So W2 dash is equal to 57 divided by 0.41 into 0.66 into 0.66 multiplied by 2.81. So we'll get W2 dash concentrated load as 390.66 kilonewton. So to determine the movement due to W2 dash, we'll use this W. So V by L is here 2.81 by 5 which is 0.562 u by v is 0.66 by 2.5 which is 0.264 so referring to Pigard's curve so movement coefficients m1 and m2 for k equal to 0.5 and v by l and u by v values so here we'll get m1 into 100 is 12 so m1 is 0.12 m2 into 100 is 1.9 so m2 is 0.019 so bending moment due to W2 dash, so from Pigard's curve, shorter span moment due to W2 dash is 390.66 into 0.12 plus 0.15 is the Ponzo's ratio into 0 0.019. So we'll get it 47.99 kilonewton meter. Similarly, for the longer span, we'll get the ML2 dash as 14.99. 45 kilonewton meter since this w2 dash is an imaginary load so actual load is our this blue color load and the gray load is our imaginary load as well we have filled this load with the orange color load so we'll subtract this orange color load so so for that u remain same but we will be 1.2 minus 0 0.41 by 2 into 2 so we'll get it 1.99 meter so w2 double dash is 57 divided by 0.41 into 0.66 into 0.66 into 1.99 so we'll get 276.66 kilonewton as a concentrated load due to w2 double dash so v by l will be 1.99 divided by 5 which is 0.398 and u by b remains same 0 0.264 referring to Pigard's curve so same curve will refer here and will get the value of m1 as 0.145 and m2 as 0 0.038 that values will refer here to get the moment in shorter span as well as in the longer span so mb2 double dash will be 276.66 into 0.145 plus 0.15 into 0 0.038 so we'll get it 41.69 kilonewton meter and ml2 double dash is equal to 276.66 into 0 0.038 plus 0 0.15 into 0 0.145 we'll get it 16.53 kilonewton meter since this blue color w2 is actual load gray color w2 load and the orange color w2 dash load is an imaginary load so bending moment due to w2 so moments due to w2 are computed as mb2 is equal to mb2 dash minus mb2 double dash by 2 we'll get mb2 as 3.15 kilonewton meter similarly 
एम एल टू इज इक्वल टू एम एल टू डैश माइनस एम एल टू डबल डैश डिवाइड बाई टू विल गेट एम एल टू एज माइनस वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर किलो न्यूटन समटाइम्स विल गेट इट विद द नेगेटिव साइन समटाइम विल गेट इट विद द पॉजिटिव साइन सो हियर विल गेट इट विद द नेगेटिव साइन अप्लाइंग कंटिन्यूटी एंड इम्पैक्ट फैक्टर्स द टोटल लाइव लोड मूवमेंट्स आर गिवन बाय so mb is equal to mb1 plus mb2 into impact factor into continuity factor so mb1 is the moment in shorter span due to w1 load mb2 is the moment in shorter span due to w2 load so as per irc 6208.2 page number 30 so impact factor for the irc class a loading for the rc and the pc bridges is 4.5 divided by 6 plus l so so l is here the span of the two way slab shorter span is a 2.5 meter so 4.5 divided by 6 plus 2.5 hence the impact factor is 0.529 so mb is equal to 12.03 plus 3.15 into 1.529 into 0.8 is the continuity factor so we will get it 18.57 kN meter similarly ml is ml1 plus ml2 into impact factor into continuity factor so ml is 10.47 kN meter thank you